who am I? We all once in a while has asked this question, who am I? Am I a soul or just body or the memory or what? To know who you really are, you must first know who you are not, right? So when asked who you are, you say your name. But what is a name? A name is just a word. And all words with their meanings are just sounds, right? Words and meanings don't have any existential significance. They are just symbols. A name is just used as a symbol for this body. You were still present even before a name or identification was given to you. So you are not what you are identified with. And if you are not your name, are you the body? For this, I will ask a simple question. Is your body totally independent? Does it depend on anything or not for its existence? The fact is that our bodies are totally dependent on other things and beings, totally. The very breath and food we need for survival comes from other entities. Thinking and communicating too depends on other people. So is this not correct to call your body as an extended part of a tree or another body? And similarly, is this not correct to call a tree or another body as an extended part of your body? That is why Shiva says this whole world is a Maya, it is an illusion. What you see is not the truth, it is the deception of the divine game. So you are not your body too. And just because there is space between beings and things, that doesn't mean they are not connected. It is your eyes that disconnects them, not space. Space actually connects them with love. So if you are not your body, then you are also not your likeness, dislikeness, anger, ego, proud mindset, beliefs, etc. etc. Because they all just exist in the mind which itself belongs to that body which we have found to be not only yours. Then obviously the question comes, if I'm not the body, if I'm not the identification, then who the hell I am? Do I even exist or not? The answer is, there is no I, there is only amness, there is no you, there is only isness. Only the presence, beingness is the truth. Impacts of presence cannot be the truth. There is no I because the dualities like I and you only exist because you have unawarely identified yourself with the given body, with the given knowledge. It's like asking what's that thing in my hand? Everyone would say, you idiot, there is nothing in your hand. So if there is nothing in my hand, then what is the sense of asking this question? What is that thing in my hand? Now the question has simply disappeared. Only silence remains. But wait, I said there is no I, but there is amness, easiness, a presence. What do I mean by that? Certainly, I mean there is nothing in my hand, but there is space. That is a different part that we are unable to experience it because our senses aren't that evolved yet. But that doesn't mean there is no space. Space exists. Space is there. Right? Gautam Buddha has given it a very beautiful name. Nothingness. Awareness. Yes, there is no I, but who the hell witnessed this fact? Who the hell witnessed all the changes of your body, your thoughts from the day you are born? It is the awareness. But I wouldn't like 
to say that we are awareness it is better to say that awareness is our essence awareness is our core awareness is our essence because it is not dependent on any other thing for its existence and it doesn't change it doesn't undergo the cyclic changes of the nature awareness enhances its own quality but it doesn't change into something else that is why we can say awareness is our essence awareness is the core of this whole existence and the reason why i said it is not better to call awareness i'm awareness you are awareness because the moment you intrude your uh, linguistic he she it i you you destroy the beauty of awareness you bring your ego your ideas with it awareness is beyond all of this awareness is a presence awareness is a being awareness is a state